in world history had finally come to an end. How about Japanese Prime Minister Tojo? What happened to him? Almost. Okay. He resigned, obviously, along with his entire cabinet, and he actually tried unsuccessfully to shoot himself and was eventually arrested and tried for war crimes in April of 1946. He was convicted and hanged for his role in World War II. Convicted and hanged. They did try to kill himself, which you might try to do because you know what's going to happen to you, right? So Japanese Prime Minister Tojo resigned along with his entire cabinet, and he tried unsuccessfully to shoot himself. He was eventually arrested and tried for war crimes in April of 1946, and he and many other Japanese military leaders that served under him were convicted and hanged for the roles in World War II. Now let me ask you a question. Do you think if Hitler wouldn't have committed suicide, they'd have done the same to him? You bet they wouldn't. You bet that's why he did it. He knew what was coming. Okay. Now, that'll take us to our final subtopic then, which is the costs of World War II. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you a video called The Men Who Brought the Dawn. And I'm going to read an excerpt from a book called Shin's Tricycle. And then we'll eventually end this whole thing by showing you a video on the 1940s. And then we'll have a test about next Wednesday or so. Okay? So here are the costs of World War II. We already told you, didn't we, how much the war cost? Did we talked about war bonds. Anybody remember that? $400 billion is the amount spent on World War II. But we're going to talk about loss of life. What was the American loss of life? Okay? And allies and enemies. And we won't hold you these statistics totally, but I want you to know them. 292,000. 131 American soldiers were killed in World War II. 292,131 American soldiers were killed in World War II. 292,131. 671,801 soldiers were wounded. 671,801 American soldiers were wounded. And what are we missing? The ones that are missing. Okay? 139,709 American soldiers listed as missing in action. So 292,131 killed, 671,801 wounded, and 139,709 American soldiers listed as missing in action. Now that didn't count the Allies, because we had a lot of people fighting with us, right? Great Britain, Russia, etc. Here is the casualties among the Allied powers. That would be killed in action, died of wounds suffered in action, or missing in action. I'm not talking about wounded. I'm talking about killed in action, died of wounds suffered in action, or missing, which they never recovered. How many Americans were killed or missing? 300, 400, 400,000. 400 approximately, right? Casualties among members of the Allied powers, either killed in action, died of wounds, suffered in action, or missing in action, 14,141,544. 14,141,544. That's astonishing. How about the Axis powers? Believe it or not, theirs was almost a little, about a third. 5,634,232. 5,634,232. So casualty wise, the Allied powers suffered almost three times the amount. Now, you think about those numbers. That doesn't include what? What? Well, I'm talking about deaths. So we're talking about allied deaths, Axis deaths, who else died? Civilians. Civilians. It has been estimated that more than 60 million people lost their lives during World War II. 60 million. You know how many generations that affected for years to come? 
you know how many people were never created because of 60 million deaths? It took generations away for generations. Siblings of those who were killed that never came about. Can you imagine the population difference with 60 million people lost in a world war? It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Okay, we will end with that unless somebody has a question. And I got to share something that my cousin sent me today. I got to go down to my office and get it, so I think you'll get a kick out of it.